G'day guys, welcome back to Sandrock. Hope you guys are doing well, we're just hanging out here in the workshop. In the previous episode, I would have to say that the highlight was Ginger and Gust's story progressing, and uh, it was very nice to see that Gust really, really cares about his little sister. But, um, yeah, he doesn't really show his, uh, his care and affection the right way, does he? Uh, but when it comes time to, you know, do things and uh, actually get the job done, he'll definitely go out there and risk life and limb for her. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. He tried to get some of those, uh, those cliffside flowers or whatever they're called and uh, almost fell to his death. Uh, luckily, we were there to save him, so he might be a little bit more thankful now, but uh, we shall see. We did tell him, though, to give Dr. Fang a bit of a chance, so hopefully that is the case. I was sort of reading some of the comments uh, from someone about how uh, things transpire in... Uh, Portia, because apparently Gust and Ginger are characters from my time at Portia, and uh, apparently it can get pretty dark with uh, Ginger losing her life, even, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, I feel like this game doesn't really take things that far, but I'm surprised there's that kind of a storyline in my time at Porsche. Uh, anyway, I guess perhaps maybe things could uh, take a turn for the worst if you make some decisions that are maybe negative, or perhaps maybe if you don't complete certain uh, quests. But anyway, the other thing that I also learned from some of the comments in the previous episode was uh, apparently there are no mushrooms this season. So I didn't think there was a seasonal mechanic in the game, and uh, yeah, apparently there is. Anyway. Planning out what we're going to do for this episode, uh, the first thing I want to try and do is to make this projector screen, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll try and turn that in. I'm just also taking a look at whether or not there's anything going on right here. It doesn't look like it, so uh, I think uh, we're safe to sort of do our own thing. So projector screen coming right up. I'm not totally sure how we make this actually, so... Okay, it's from the work table. So, let's just quickly get this done. Brilliant. Okay. Now, we do need to turn it in, but I'm thinking maybe we'll turn it in tomorrow. Uh, I do want to do a few other things. Namely, I'm sort of still looking for relics. And I keep saying that I want to go to Gecko Station to try and find more relics there. So, uh, that's what we'll do for the rest of today. Uh, if we have a chance to actually make all of the steel bars that Jensen's ordered uh, by the end of the day. We'll try and do that as well. But uh, yeah, we've had issues with not having enough fluorite, so we need to keep on top of that. Make sure that we've got a fluorite supply for when we need to refine stuff. Or um, not refine stuff, but like uh, improve the rarity of stuff. All right, so uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for the rusty robot. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we're also still looking for the conch shell goddess statue. Uh, anything else that we want? I can't remember if we made the anchor. We may have. I suppose I could go for the anchor as well. Yeah, I'm um, having trouble remembering whether or not we made the anchor or not. Maybe what I'll do is I'll actually go to uh, tier 10 and 11 only, and we'll um, we'll come back to the anchor um, a little bit later, because I need to maybe double check whether or not we've actually made the anchor and placed it down somewhere already. Uh, yeah, so I think that's probably the best move. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, not all of these are going to be relic pieces, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, well, we need all of that then. There we go. I wonder if we found every single piece that we need for the, uh, the conch shell goddess statue, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll have to check that later. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything around here. Nope, nothing that we need. Let's keep going. Okay, brilliant. Another one of these things. Couple of pieces there. Let's go for these. Again, I can't really remember uh, which pieces I need exactly, but I'll take every piece that I can see. There we go. I think that's about it, so uh, let's get out of here. Hang on, is this not the way out? Interesting. Actually, this is the last uh, tier as well, right? So I guess there's no real reason for us to try and find the exit. We can just simply leave the ruins. Just gonna take a look at what time it is and uh, decide whether or not we go for the, the anchor. Maybe not, actually. Again, as I said, it's probably a better idea for us to check on the condition of uh, whether or not we have the anchor. Um, I guess I'll have to run around the entire museum to take a look at whether or not we've placed it down somewhere. Just gonna see if I can find a few more of these uh, deadwood trees. We'll cut a few of them down since we've got some time to work with before it will become bedtime. I reckon this will be the last one and then we'll head back home. I don't think the Yakmal stations are in operation at the moment, so we might have to ride all the way back.
I think that's just one regular one, so I won't go for that one. Uh, maybe we can still catch the Akmal? Let's give it a try. At this hour. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's go. Okay, Merle, you can go back. Uh, just gonna see if we have enough fluorite to do what we need to do. Uh, we need how many? Six. Okay, I can only do four right now, so let's continue making some more fluorite. Uh, is there anything else I can do before we finish up the day? I guess maybe top up our furnace. Or furnaces. Uh, let's see. Why even need to? <laughs> I've got a lot of this stuff already. Um, maybe bronze bars. Yeah, we did use a little bit of bronze the other day. And I think we're done, right? So let's head to bed. Actually, I can't remember what the limit is. We might pass out here. Or not. <laughs> Playing with fire. Okay. Right, uh, so nothing's happened immediately at the beginning of the day, but I wonder if there's anything happening at the clinic that I should keep an eye out on. Uh, anyway, let's see if we have more fluorite here, and um, I'm gonna see if we can actually make all of the bars that we need. Oh, okay, we're just short by one. It's fine. Uh, let's maybe drop everything in here and uh, pick up the rest of our stuff. There we go. Good stuff, and something from Heidi here. Blue, I heard that you've been hanging around with Gust and his sister. Did you know we used to be uh, apprentices under the same master? Well, I'll be visiting them today. If you have time, come and join me. Okay, we'll definitely do that. A class reunion. Uh, there's a letter from Venti here. Yes, uh, she likes to give us this melon mousse, uh, which I think I've, I've just sort of stashed like the melon mousses in there. Uh, right, so again, keeping an eye out on, on being able to complete stuff for Jensen here, but um, I'm just going to see if I can grab some of the fluorite myself. Okay, still no fluorite. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll come back to that. Um, priority is uh, completing the projector mission. So let's go have a chat with Mian first. And uh, once we've done that, we can complete commissions. Well, Heidi's just here, so I might as well turn in commissions with her. Right, and if Mian can stop moving around. <laughs> I wonder if I'll catch her if I let go this way. So there appears to be something happening at Construction Junction as well. Oh my god, alright, she's taken the Yakmal down there. Bloody hell. Ah, oh, and it, she is so far away now. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, good thing um, someone mentioned about the mushrooms and the fact that they don't grow during the winter time. Because I would have been just like constantly checking for the mushrooms. Alright, Mian. Slow down already. Got the screen? Great! I fixed the projector with Chi's help. He also noticed in a box was a data disk with a movie on it. You've heard of those, right? They're like moving pictures. Remember what the manual said? The projector works best at night. So, tell you what, I'll find us a cinematic spot, if you will. And, oh, can you give me the screen you made? Let's meet up tomorrow at 8 p.m. at the saloon, and I'll take you to the setup. 8 p.m. at the saloon. Okay, it's a date then. Oh, uh, a date? I mean, we've been on some dates before, Mia, and I mean, uh, I mean this is nothing out of the ordinary. Come on. <laughs> That's right. Old world couples used to go watch movies together, didn't they? Gosh. I've always been interested in old world tech, but I never thought I'd end up going full LARPer. Fortunately, the disc is in good shape. I asked Chi not to tell me what movie was on it, so it's going to be a surprise for both of us. He did say, though, that it wouldn't be a complete waste of time. That's high praise from him. I can't wait. Okay, see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. 8 p.m., all right. Cool, gotta remember that. Well, uh, now that we've turned that in, I suppose we can do some other stuff. Actually, we could probably go on a date with Mian right now, right? Um, though that would take up the entire day and I sort of want to do some other stuff here. I mean, like there's the stuff at the construction junction, which I feel like if we don't go today, we might miss. Uh, and yeah, maybe we might see um, Ginger up and about. Maybe she's well already. So let's go off and do that. Uh, actually, we'll go to the Blue Moon, turn in some commissions there first. Ernest, meat stuffed mushrooms. Wow, thank you so much. Nice. Uh, I need to check on whether or not we've got a supply of the meat-stuffed mushrooms, actually. Might need to make a few more. Uh, and who else needs commissions done? Oh, yes, of course, it's Jensen. Uh, we'll do that in a sec. Oh, class reunion, hang on a second. Oh, that's happening at the clinic. Right, right, right. Um, should we do that first, or should we go to the construction junction first? I'm confused now. <laughs> Why don't we go to the clinic first? I wonder if the stuff at the construction junction might uh, be something that we could look at tomorrow. Or maybe even the next day. Again, afraid of missing things though. Can we do the experiment? Sweet. All right, let's do that one. How many feathers am I holding up? Close enough. Close. Only temporary. Okay. Got blurry vision. Oh, and it's gone now. Oh, actually, no. It gets blurrier the more we move. Interesting. I wonder if it would affect like cutscenes and stuff. Let's just wait a tiny little bit. Or does it just randomly get like fuzzy? Might be okay now. So he said, right. He said he had to go back to Portia. We were all shocked. Most of all Verna. You know it was Verna that gave him that pig, right? came to see Ginger. I brought her some flowers. I know she's cooped up in bed all day, but 
thought a little nature might do her some good. Thank you, Heidi. Heidi? Long time no see, Goldilocks. Oh, right. You're from Sandrock. Yeah, funny thing, that, eh? A Sandrocker's been in Sandrock and all. Mm. <laughs> I came to see if you'd changed any. And you're still the same old Gust. Right. You've got your own place now, don't you? Construction highway or something. Albert told me about it. When my sister is better, I'll come take a look. Go on, Gust. I'm okay. The Builder is here with me. All right, all right. Let's go. I want to see those designs from the contest. I gotcha. Oh, and it's Construction Junction. Heidi's amazing. University degree? Has her own studio? A career? When I'm better, I want to try everything. I don't know if I can build houses like Heidi, but small things, beautiful necklaces, bracelets. Yeah, you can definitely do it once you're better. Thank you. That gives me a little confidence. These last couple of days, I feel like I've been getting better, but I can't help but be anxious. I know Dr. Fang is doing his best, but I hope I can be discharged soon. I hope so too. I have been thinking about what I'll do when I get out. I want to take off my parasol and walk around in the sunshine. See the beauty of the desert. I actually brought sunscreen with me. Just in case. My friend in Portia made it for me. Mm. Tonight, when the sun goes down, we can go for a walk. Are you sure my brother will be okay with it? Are we going to sneak out? I haven't done anything exciting since I was little. How about tomorrow night? Come to the clinic after 9 p.m. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. We've got that uh, that date with Mia at eight. I mean, can we make it at nine? Well, it says after 9 p.m. So, yeah, sure. All right, we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, a lot of stuff seems to be happening all at the same time here. Actually, I do want to check on the cost of strong medicine here. Um, yeah, 150, that's not too bad, actually. I'm just sort of thinking uh, about when we do decide to go back into the... Uh, uh, the dungeon in the, uh, what's it called? The Dead Sea. Jeez. <laughs> uh, when we do decide to go back, we're probably going to need a lot of that strong medicine, so uh, I might actually just load up at the clinic. Okay, so, um... First things first, maybe, is just checking on what I've placed down. I'm sort of looking for that um, anchor. And yeah, it doesn't look like I've got the anchor anywhere just yet. So yeah, we should try to get the anchor. There we go, the conch shell got a statue. So let's make one of those. And I wonder if, uh, I wonder if that's like really huge. A large exhibit. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we do need to go back to Gecko Station, try and get the cross anchor. Um, and I think there was a few things that I wanted to get from the Euphala salvage ruins as well. Or maybe the Mole Cave abandoned ruins. Dancing Lion Doll. That's in the Starship abandoned ruins. Okay. I'm not sure if we've made one of these actually, so... from a relic bag. Yeah. We don't get relic bags very often, do we? Grand Theater, that's something that we already have. 
these toy soldiers. Uh, the Great Long Wall, I'm pretty sure we have that already. I thought there was a few more things that we needed to get from Euphala Salvage. Uh, but I'm just trying to remember what... I think it's the Windmill Weather Vane. Yeah, all right. Um, let's go for the anchor first. So we'll head to Gecko Station once more. You fell a salvage, maybe something that we can do after that. Before we get going, though, uh, I just want to get this commission for Jensen out of the way. So let's do that. Okay, after waiting that long, we only have, like, one additional fluorite. <laughs> um, takes a while to actually make a lot of fluorite. Um, I'm just wondering if there's anything else that's going to give us, like, a decent amount of fluorite, like, pretty quickly. I guess we could refine quartz as well. We get quartz from refining copper ore, right? So, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed chance, and then with copper ore, it's, yeah, also not a guaranteed chance, but it's just a high chance for both. Yeah, I don't know what's best, but anyway, uh, we should have enough for the six steel bars that we need, so let's make it. Brilliant, okay. Jensen, finally. <laughs> Let's turn this in. I think I can fit in one more commission as a result of turning this in, though, so uh, we might actually see if we can do one more. Thank you. Nice. Right. One more easy commission. That pays a decent amount of money, preferably. I don't know about turning in these fish, though. Um, there's 800 there. Or 775 uh, there. Well, we'll do this. It's fine. Let's go see a mirror. Turn this in. And... Gecko Station it is after that. Okay. Back to the Acmel station. And yeah, we'll maybe do one session in Gecko Station for the anchor. We'll see if we can get all of the pieces required. With any luck, we might even be done before the museum closes. So uh, that would be good if we could do that. But I'm thinking that I'm going to need to start, uh, you know, making some of my own stuff for the museum, so uh, we'll have a think about that as well. Right. 
Right, so another couple of tiers here. We should be good. So just five and six. Let's do it. Uh, Golden Eagle, not really that interested in that. I should really be going for these treasure chests, to be honest. Uh, hang on. Do the treasure chests give you relic bags? Because if they do, perhaps maybe it might be worthwhile. I mean, so far, we've had the experience of getting, um, resources, like these rose stones. That's about it. I haven't really found too many of those anchor pieces, though. Plenty of these golden eagle pieces. I'm pretty sure we've already made those, though. Yeah, okay. That's it. I don't know if I would say that that was a very successful run. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure if we actually have all of the pieces required. Um, I'm sort of thinking maybe we want to just repeat that one more time. We've got plenty of time. But perhaps maybe we might need to uh, assemble it tomorrow. Potentially, the um, museum might close by the time we're done. Ooh, that's below. Okay. I don't think I'm going to bother with the treasure chests. That doesn't seem worthwhile to me.
Right. I think that might be the last piece available. So let's go back to the entrance and we'll see what time it is. Decide whether or not we need to go to the museum. Uh, okay, it's past eight o'clock. <laughs> so no chance for us to go to the museum today, I don't think, but that's okay. We'll do it tomorrow. Since it's relatively early though, I'm sort of thinking, do we want to head to Euphala Salvage Ruins at this point? Might not be a bad idea. We still don't have the last camera piece, obviously still looking for that. Yeah, I wish I hadn't donated the camera initially. It's been a while since we've been down here, actually. Now, uh, what do we need? Rage quit. <laughs> this weapon exudes the frustration of ancient tech warriors. Love it. Um... Hang on a second. I wonder if we've made the Sand Eagle statue, but not the Golden e Eagle statue. Huh. I think what we're looking for is the Windmill Weather Vane. So, there's a couple of tiers where we might be able to find that. Uh, but then there's the camera. I'm, I can't remember where we get the camera from. I thought it was you fell a Salvage. Um... I might need to double check on what the uh, description of the pieces say. But yeah, let's try it five and six. And see if we can find the weather vane pieces. Exactly what we need, apparently. Uh, that's not a bad find. If we do come through here again, maybe I should hit up that treasure chest since uh, it gives us fluorite. of interest here. Let's just try and work our way towards the exit. Nothing up here either. Jeez, 
Okay. Game being a little bit stingy on us. I think it's a little bit late though, so we might as well go back. Uh, I think there's a little bit of farming that we could possibly look into before having a sleep. Or maybe not. Maybe the farm is looking fine. Okay, just quickly feed these guys. Uh, grab more of this stuff. Right. Oh, um, the uh, the mounts need some food. Tomatoes. And desert mushrooms. Good stuff. I'm gonna top this up. And all of this stuff as well. All right, that's good enough, I think. Let's have a sleep. And yeah, our schedule is going to be packed tomorrow. We've got so many things to try and do. Classic projection mission updated. Uh, wait for the date. Meet. Me and tonight at 8 in the evening at the gate of the saloon to go and watch the movie. So, we'll watch the movie. I'm hoping this doesn't progress time and then uh, we can essentially get to the clinic by 9. Um, yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's see if we can do some stuff, be productive before we go. Uh, actually, I do want to interact with this. Yeah, we can actually put... A whole bunch of stuff in this spot uh, and yeah I'd probably have to craft some stuff oh hang on no uh, I've got plenty of things here to put apparently I guess it really depends on whether or not I'm wearing all of this stuff though um, Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not reading any of the stuff that's equipped, so we could technically put some of this stuff here. <laughs> okay. Um, single hanging rack. Uh... Yeah, all right. <laughs> I might come back and, you know, put some other stuff in that instead of the, the camel rider gear. I thought it would, like, hang stuff a little bit more naturally, you know? Like, it's a coat hanger. Like, when you come into the house on a very cold day, you would then take off your coat and put it on it. Uh, Put the coat on it, yeah. Uh, so, um, but instead, it's actually sort of displaying things like it's like armor or something. Uh, I don't want to turn in these large wolf eels. 
Let's do the plaque, uh, the plaque, the plastic pipe commission. Um, and yeah, I think everything else is looking fine here. Let's head out. Um, we still have this conversation at the construction junction, so I'm definitely interested. Oh, mysterious man is in town. Priority alert. <laughs> let's, let's have a chat with him right away. We're buying those broad beans. Um, I think he restocks the next day as well, right? So we should try and stock up on those broad bean seeds as much as possible. So... Where are they, though? Oh, I can buy another engagement ring if I really wanted another one. To end your marriage. <laughs> no. Oh, relic bags. I might, like get a whole bunch because you never know we might actually find something interesting in the furniture chest as well hmm shoreline I mean I'll buy it I feel like we have this, maybe? Um, but I'm also just concerned about the amount of space we might have. What? Where are the broad beans, guys? The broad bean seeds. Or... Maybe the mysterious man has a randomized selection of stuff. And we can't always buy things that we uh, we really, really want. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. We have quite a few of these things. Seaside peppers. Um, sweetheart cake. Cupcake full of love. Any lover who receives it will be happy to call you by a new nickname. Okay, right. So if we have a different nickname that we want them to call us. Um, jewelry showcase? We could buy one of those. Put it in the house, perhaps. Anyway, I'm a little bit disappointed. We couldn't get the, um, the broad bean seeds. I'll check in again with him tomorrow, though, uh, in the hopes that we'll actually get it. But, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. I wonder if I have to do anything in particular before uh, being able to get him to sell broad bean seeds to us. All right, easy cash for the day. And we do have one more for Mabel. Hi there. Thank you. Righto. So, now that that's done, uh, I do want to go to the museum though, so let's do that. Because uh, I do also need to place down some of the things that I've made as well. I did uh, just realize that I forgot to, to do that. But yes, hopefully we can actually make this cross anchor now. There we go. So let's do one. Apparently we can make a few now. Rusty robot. Yes. Okay, we have all of the pieces required for that as well. Nice, I, I forgot about that one. Cool, so let's see if we can place a few of these things down. Uh, let's do the goddess statue over here in the front. 
Nice. Okay, cool. And we'll do the rusty robot back here. And I need a spot for the anchor. The anchor might be a medium exhibit, I think. So let's see if we can place it down maybe right next to the, um, the, I, I don't know what the right term is for the, uh, the wheel that you find on boats to steer it, the steering wheel, I suppose. So, uh, there you go. Looking cool. Um, I'm just trying to think of whether or not there's anything else that we have that we can place down, but I don't think we do have anything else. Um, I definitely need a whole bunch of, like, smaller exhibits. There's a lot of space for smaller stuff that I need to sort of figure out and place down. Any new rewards that we can pick up? The four leaf clover necklace. I mean, we apparently still need a few more donations. Coltrane 45, the weapon. Projector lamp. A lamp that projects a beautiful image onto the wall. Hmm. Uh, already donated, 39. There we go. Right, so we've got 39 items. But we need to donate up to 100 items if we want to get the, the Coltrane 45. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna work our way all the way up to the Coltrane 45, guys. Uh, just saying. Um, but I am interested in trying to donate, you know, as many things as we can while we're still playing. Okay, so Construction Junction it is. We'll see what is going on there. And then we just need to remember to come back at 8. To have that movie date with Mian. Uh, Catch you later. Is there anything happening here? Oh, that's very strange. I saw Master a little while ago. It's nothing. It's just a competition. No point being bitter. Who'd have thought that when you came to Sandrock, you'd be building bridges both literally and figuratively. <laughs> we all depend on you a lot. You're one of a kind. Aw, oh, thanks Heidi. Okay, uh... I'm not sure what that was all about. Let me just have a look at the map again. Yeah, it's disappeared. I guess she just wanted to have a little yarn about maybe not winning the competition possibly uh, I'm sort of having a think of what else uh, I wanted to to try and get actually sorry guys uh, let me go back to the museum I wanted to check on the camera and what's required for the camera because yeah <laughs> I yeah uh, I really want to try and get it just seems to be such a difficult thing to do, for whatever reason. Okay, this camera piece. So, it's from Euphala Salvage, Abandoned Ruins, or the Breach Hazardous Ruins. I pretty certain that we've been to the Breach Hazardous Ruins plenty of times without much success finding the, um, the lens. But when we go to Euphala Salvage, I don't think it's even available uh, when you actually select the tiers. I think 
it's something that you might have to kind of get lucky with, potentially. Yeah, Golden Eagle statue. Okay, right. Maybe I do need the Golden Eagle statue. Something that I haven't really been able to to craft before, potentially. The windmill weather vane. So we did find a few pieces, but we still are missing piece number two there. So perhaps maybe we need to go back out and try and find it. Um, I'm not sure if we have all of the astronaut models. And there's the armor display. Again, got to be looking for those treasure chests everywhere. Dancing lion idol. Mm, okay. Plenty of things. Plenty of things. Okay. Uh, I mean, we do still have a bit of time to kill before we, um, we get to our date with Mian. Uh, just gonna see if I can hang out at the Ufala Salvage for a little bit, and then we'll, um, we'll come back and go to that movie date. Because, uh, Yufala Salvage, I don't think it's gonna take us too long to try and go through a couple of tiers to try and find more weather vane pieces. Just cycling through here, there's no such thing as a camera piece that you can find anywhere in uh, any of the Ufala Salvage Abandoned Ruin tiers. Uh, I wonder if the, these are things that you find in like treasure chests or something like that. Again, if any of you guys are um, in the know of uh, how to get the camera lens piece, uh, do leave a comment down below, because I am stumped. Um, anyway, let's go to level 5, and let's do our thing here. Yeah, this episode might be tad longer, guys, because I do want to see if we can, at the very least, do the, um the movie date with Mian. Oh, there we go. Have every single piece that we need right here. So, hopefully we can now make it, or, hang on, there are four pieces, maybe, maybe we might be still missing some pieces, who knows. Just keeping an eye out on the time as well, it's already two.
Okay, I think this might be it. Three o'clock. So in about five hours or so. In game, that is. Um, I'm gonna head to the museum again. See if we can get this weather vane piece made and placed down. And if we're still a little bit early, I might actually spend some time at the uh, game center. See if we can do something about that high score with the punching bag. That's also been a bit of a problem for the longest time. Actually, one thing I'm not entirely sure of is whether or not we already have the uh, location of where we need to go for this date. Uh, oh, it's at the gate of the saloon. Meet me and tonight at 8 in the evening at the gate of the saloon to go and watch the movie. The gate of the saloon. I'm not entirely sure what that means exactly. Anyway, uh, windmill weather vane. Nice. Okay. Uh, I assume that's a large exhibit? No. Okay. So maybe a medium one then. This is also a large exhibit, right? Or actually, no. You can't really do anything in this spot. I wonder why. Perhaps maybe there could be some kind of a side quest that involves making some kind of special relics uh, for display in this corner. Possibly. Uh, no. Maybe it's a small one then. Let's take a look. No. Medium exhibit. Right. Okay, here we go. Uh, so I can put that down there. I don't know if uh, if I really want to put it down here though. Like, um, I feel like that is uh, kind of a special pedestal. Maybe I probably want to reserve something else for that spot. Um, yeah, okay. Not a lot of choices. Um, let me go down here and see if I can use any of the other displays. Nope. 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 We have run out of space, really, for a lot of stuff. Maybe here. What I have to do. Yeah, okay. Right, right. These are all large exhibits. I didn't realize that. So... They all look kind of the same size, though, so... You know, I could drop some of my furniture if I really wanted to, but... Anyway, uh, we have a little bit more time to kill here. Let me just, uh... Have a play around with the punching machine. Uh, and I think we'll be ready for that date in no time. So... Plus five minutes. Hmm. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, five minutes in game, so five seconds basically. Yeah, so we're good to go for a little bit more. Nine nine six eight. That's the target. Okay, it's uh oh hang on. Wait for the date. Yep, still still waiting. Still got time. It did give us a bit of a alarm there though. Which it means that we are getting close, obviously. Damn it. I feel like we're getting worse here. Uh, no, 9968, right? That was not bad, though. Ah, oh, darn. Man, I wonder if there's some kind of a trick to it. But uh, anyway, we are almost at the time, so let's head out there and let's check out what movie we can watch. There she is. There you are. Oh, before you got here, I talked to Owen for a bit. He gave us a blanket and snacks for our movie night. He sure has taken kind of an odd interest in our relationship. Oh well, ready to go? I mean, very nice of him to give us some free stuff. Alright, cool, let's go. Great! Follow me to the secret spot. Secret spot? Right, I thought the projection would be just like off the back of the blue moon or something, but... Alright, we're, we're getting very close to the time that we need to hang out with Ginger as well, so I'm a little bit concerned. Ah, oh, here we are. Ta-da! Here we are. Bilber Cruise Cinemas presents... whatever movie it is we're about to watch. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be watching movies alongside all of the, the sleeping Yakmel. I hope it's got some romance in it. I want to know what dating was like in the old world. How do people fall in love with virtually all their wants and needs catered to by technology? What about you? What do you hope's on the disc? <laughs> I want to see some dudes get blasted. Uh, hmm. What was old romance like? Yeah, I think every era has something uniquely romantic about it. Maybe we'll find seeing something like that to be inspiring. Hmm. I hope they don't, like, show Tinder or anything like that. <laughs> well, nothing left to do but press play. Here I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't say the, the, the whole Tinder thing is the most in inspiring thing. Okay. Bit of romance. Cute. Okay, bit of romance, bit of action. Wow, that was great! All the twists and turns. I can't believe the villain turned out to be his twin brother from the future all along! <laughs> the couple in that movie. I guess 
I guess no matter how much things change in the world, love is always kind of the same, huh? You'd think so. And there's a lot to be learned about life in the old world, too. I guess you can say this exercise has resulted in a Builder Cruise level up. Builder Cruise level up. Nice. Uh... This wasn't a work thing. It was a couple thing. Ah, uh, yeah. I keep making things about work. I'm sorry. You're right. This wasn't a builder cruise. It was a couple cruise. Or, to phrase it in a less lame way, a very nice date. Oh, shoot. It's <laughs> so late already. I guess I was enjoying myself so much that I lost track of time. I better get home, but... We should do this again sometime. I'd love to do more research on these movies. And it's nice to do something like this together, isn't it? That was fun. See ya. Alright. There we go. Uh, go to the clinic at 9. I mean... Uh, in one more second, it's going to be 9 o'clock, so we better actually haul ass right to the clinic. But, I think I'm going to save uh, our little uh, sort of hangout with Ginger for the next episode. Uh, we'll call it right here. Uh, I would say this is a pretty successful episode, and uh, things with uh, Mian seems to be developing very, very well. So, uh, very thankful for that. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, as usual leave a like if you enjoyed it, a dislike if you didn't, sub comments down below if you want to, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.